blessings, everybody. It's yours truly, Adams, a.k.a. The Prosecutor. Yes, Wayne Dupree, there you go. I fully come on board. I am now and forever will be the prosecutor. My initials, Dan Adams, DA, Wayne Dupree, Hutch Bailey Jr. have coined me the prosecutor. So now I will be forever the prosecutor. <laughs> Real quick, want to get my thoughts and, 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 and analysis on last night's GOP debate on CNN. No clear-cut winners. I'm sorry. You may have a clear-cut winner because it's your guy. I get it. Seeing that I don't have any skin in the game at the moment, I felt like there was no clear-cut winner. There was definitely some clear-cut losers, and I think the number one loser, and they are tied, number one, John Kasich in those damn hands, thought I was in a damn karate class with them damn hands. And secondly... Hugh Hewitt, very disappointing with that question you asked Dr. Ben Carson in regards if he had the chutzpah to go and bomb and kill children. Really, dude? Really? Come on, man. You're better than that. Like I said, no clear-cut winners, a couple clear-cut losers. Um, I think going forward, I made a big stink about how the whole half hour to 45 minutes of talking about immigration and these refugees and things of that nature really got to me really started to piss me off in regards to that question that Facebook question posed by I believe a Latina girl about quoting the Bible and charity and all that good stuff yeah it's all good but let's realize that charity begins at home as I said last night on Facebook charity begins at home we need to take care of our own first. Hundreds of thousands of homeless, hundreds of thousands of veterans being discarded. Are you kidding me? Take care of our own first. And then maybe, possibly, we'll start thinking about taking care of all these other people from all, all parts of the world that want to come into this country. I'm with, I'm with anybody who wants to pause immigration from this point on until we get ourselves and our safety situation and our intelligence situation under control first. Don't let anybody in. But that's not possible because we've had a president who has opened our borders basically and now wants to bring in these refugees. America, wake up. It's time to <laughs> ruffle the feathers of those people in D.C., Charity begins at home. Till next time, God bless. Peace.